Today we're looking at how to create a bar chart in Google Sheets. So here we have a data source with leads by source, and then we have those leads broken down by current status. So let's go ahead and create a bar chart just using the leads and we'll go insert chart. And then it will default to column. So we'll just have to select chart type down here to bar. And so now we can see our basic chart here and showing lead by source. And this will just take these numbers accordingly. So we can actually just drag this around if we want to sort this in order descending. So we just drag these around. That referral goes up one. There we go. Now they're in order. And we have a basic chart showing our leads by source. Now we can use a stack chart and we can actually break these down by their current status. So let's go ahead and just delete this chart for now. Let's go ahead and just grab this whole section here. Insert chart again. We'll go back and select a bar chart here. Now, first of all, it has it all aggregated this way. But what we actually want to do is a stacked chart. So we'll do this. But one thing we do want to get rid of is right now we have leads showing up in here. We don't actually want leads. So let's go ahead and just remove that from our series. Now what we have is showing our warm, hot, sold, and our dead across each metric, the status for each source. So this gives us a good ratio of where our current leads are across each lead source status. So one thing we may want to do here is change colors a little bit so we can go to customize, we go to series. Let's go dead and change that one to red. Let's go to sold and change that to green. Let's change hot to say a blue. And then war, let's just change it to a yellow. And that's how we can quickly change that color to make this a little more intuitive. And then finally, let's go ahead and clean up this chart a little bit. So let's go ahead and remove this extra text here. And then let's go ahead and customize our background color, pick one that matches our background there. And then we'll mute this chart border by doing the same thing. And then finally, let's go ahead and just get this into position, make this shorter, and then we'll just make it fit just like that. All right, so that's all it takes to put together this quick bar chart to help visualize this data in a useful way.